Karen. And Ruth. Hello. Hello and happy Saturday. Saturday uh, after... Oh, Saturday evening. Saturday evening now, yes. Yeah. It's bitter cold here. It is. Even though the sun's been out today, but it's still bitter cold. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, we're back with the elephants in the room. <laughs> oh, talking of elephants in the room, we're going to discuss... Meryl! And her latest health arc. Gripping stuff, yes, Karen. Gripping stuff. with totally authentic... Way in. Absolutely. Yes, now. Couldn't possibly have fiddled that. Not at all. No. No tar function. No. <laughs> Apparently. Allegedly. I haven't actually watched this video, but Ruth has. So. I'll talk you through it. Yeah, we'll just see how we get on with it. <laughs> all right, guys, so here's a way in. Don't mind the blurring, it's just, you know, I don't want you guys to see my silhouette. Yeah, I never knew she was a magician. <laughs> that was amazing, that. So the weight appeared on the scale without anybody getting on it. I know. Also, I love the, I don't want you to see my reflection of me hanging on to the sink when I did it. <laughs> I'm not like we haven't seen everything she's got to offer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go over that again. And then some. The scale's reflective. Don't mind the stain here on the scale. I just noticed that now. I take it she farted and followed through when she was... <laughs> <laughs> or something. Well, possibly, because she's only just noticed it. Or <laughs> while she was away. Oh, the scout man did play. Yeah, she was having a little tinker. <laughs> But I'm just showing you guys that my scale cannot be tampered with. There's no um, tear option or anything like that. In the back, it's just basically where you can change the unit between pounds and kg. Well, this literally proves nothing. <laughs> because unless we're seeing her standing on the scale without gripping onto the sink, yeah. etc. Farting and following through. <laughs> of course you can, of course you can um, fabricate a weight, can't Fiddle. you? I think she's doing good because she never lies, does she? No, that's true. That's true. I think we take a word for that. Yeah, we believe you. Uh-huh. Meryl. Yeah. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. So, um, this is going to be a weigh-in and discussion, weigh-in discussion kind of video, as you saw. Translation. This is going to be a fake weigh-in, and then I'm going to blurb on the same old lies that I do with every cycle. Yeah. Well, and apparently she's had five cycles this year. Already? Already. <laughs> well, already. I mean, it is October, so... Well, five cycles is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot it's, to fit in. It's more cycling than I've done this year. What's that about? What, every two months? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's some going. It is. One every eight weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, carry on with your bullshit, your shark, and your cat, catfishing. It's not catfishing. What's it called? Gaslighting. <laughs> that's the baby. Yeah. I did say yesterday I was going to have Salah film me getting on the scale, but then I'm like, uh, I just, you know, sometimes he's busy and, like, he's not around when I want to win myself or we can condense that down to he's not around. Oh, this is a complete and utter la. Yeah. Because you know why this is a la? Because they're a good Muslim couple, and good Muslim couples get up at 5am for 5am prayers, don't they? Correct. So he would always be there at 5am. Now, after prayers... She could easily go and weigh herself while he's still there. Absolutely, Karen. Well, because he isn't going out at, at, at half past five because she makes him a massive cooked breakfast every day. Of course she does. So before she cooks, she could have him film her. Between prayer and before cooking, well spotted. Yeah. Maybe you should, you should DM her with that <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> Because she must have forgot. Do you know what this, the, the vibe this gives me? Do tell. This is what she reminds me of. <laughs> <laughs> is that the cookie? Is that Bert and Ernie? Yeah. <laughs> it's the hand movements and touching of a face. <gasps> you mean the hoof movements? <laughs> oh, that's what she's like. Look. Ooh. So in Bangkok, the last time I weighed myself was on this like weird, sketchy street scale out front of 7-Eleven that you put a bot, one bot in. That's their currency there. And um, it was like, it was too narrow this way. And I'm like, this way? 
Why is she showing us she's big that way when we all know it's a gun that's massive and that's why she couldn't get on the scale? And there was nothing weird or sketchy about that street scale. Not at all. Given generally that the people in Thailand are very slight, aren't they? Yeah. It would have fit perfectly well on that scale. She could have stood sideways. <laughs> what a sight that would have been, eh? I love how she thinks she's that wide, though. <laughs> you know, I had a hard time. I had to hang on to the back of the scale. Um, but it was, it was wavering between around 164 and 165 kg. So, <laughs> she's hanging on to the back of it. For dear life. She's got one leg hanging off it, one leg on the pavement, <laughs> one leg on the... <laughs> and it was wavering. <laughs> I think it was her standing on one leg that was wavering. I bet it never bloody recovered. <laughs> <laughs> You need to scream out. Do you think she's gaslighting us, Karen? Yeah, but I would screamed out, one at a time, please. <laughs> oh, always room for an old joke. I love that old chestnut. <laughs> so I'm not sure how accurate that is, uh, was, but it was probably around there because that's usually my weight when I'm not doing too well. And it probably wasn't because of all the evidence We've already presented to the court. Yeah, and she's giving me strong Bert vibes again with that hand flapping about and them podgy piggy fingers. Oh. Hooves, trotters, say your pick. She's making my toes curl. Yeah, I don't look at them. Quite a well, you can't help it. She's waving it in the camera. I'm looking at you. I'm not looking at the screen. Oh. <laughs> it goes up into the 60s, uh, 160s kg, so... Um, yeah, so I, for those of you who don't know, I think that's around 33, 153, um, kg is about 339 pounds. Yeah, 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 thanks for the maths lesson. Uh, we can all work out what pounds to kilos are. What we're more interested, what we are more interested in, metal. What's your real weight? Yeah, because... We're talking 450 all day long. Well, while you're telling us numbers on the scale... Hello? We've got eyes! Oh, yeah. And now you've pointed out the trotter. I can't take my eyes off the screen. Thanks for that, Karen. <laughs> but I have to say, guys, this time my mentality is different. Um, maybe this will be the time, you know? Sure, and I'm John. I'm saying that there's not going to be ups and downs. There's definitely going to be downs. I'm sure, you know, I'm... I'm ready for them, though. Bring it on. Bring it on. So the downs are the times when she orders loads and loads and loads of fast food. So she can't wait for that. No. Nope. Bring it on. Yeah, she's already planned it because <laughs> yeah. there are going to be downs. Yeah. It's, Bring it on. It's not all going to be ups, you know. <laughs> loads of deep fried chicken with crispy skin. Bring it on. <laughs> oh. uh. And uh, I, I feel like... I don't even want to falter right now. I don't want to binge eat. I don't want to, um, you know, give in. I just want to keep going. Keep going. There's no proof you've actually started. Just say it. Just say it. So what I'm kind of doing, I, won't, I don't even want to label it. I'm just aiming for no binge eating um, and eating... If she says intuitively, I'm going to squeal. I think she's going to say, eating whatever I want, when I want, and how much I want, as long as it's not binging. <laughs> I don't know, like eating less, I guess. Eating less. Um, I'm not totally depriving myself. What a shocker. She's not depriving herself. Well, we see that by the seven <laughs> blocks of cheese. In the fridge, which she had to go and do a fridge tour of in the live stream, didn't she? Yeah. And show everybody, cheese. <laughs> Look, <sighs> I like cheese, Karen. You know I like cheese, but no. Seven, seven things of cheese. Mm. If, per chance, I do buy a lot of cheese, I freeze a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. You can freeze cheese, metal. We buy cheese, maybe... Once a month, once every two months. We buy a lot. Well, no, I I buy big blocks. Yeah, but what I'm saying is we'll buy a big block and that'll last us a couple of months. Yes, yes, it? now, we, yeah. 
we freeze a great portion. We just we chunk it up and then freeze it and take out chunks as we need it. And the reason I do that is because I'm a huge cheese lover. Yeah. And if you open the fridge and there's a big chunk, Anyway, never mind, does it? It's not about you, Ruth. <laughs> no, but it's a similar behaviour, isn't it? Yes. From one cheese lover to another. Yes. The formula I've been doing is eating three meals and one snack. So at night, like when we watch a movie together. Three meals and one snack while they watch a movie together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot of food. <laughs> you better get a takeout, Meryl. <laughs> I'll usually have like a small miniature sized bag of potato chips and I've only been drinking water. No diet soda, no regular soda. Are we having that? <laughs> Are we having that? A small family bag size of chips. What is a small miniature sized bag of crisps? <laughs> it's something she's never... Uh, uh... Well, I've never seen a miniature... Bag of chips. I mean, here we have a standard bag of crisps, bag which of crisps. is about, I think it's about 28 grams or something yeah. like that. Now, I don't do crisps very often. I've really tried to cut out my salty snacks. But I've got to say, one small bag is not enough. You know, the multi packs. Yeah. They are smaller bags in the multi pack. Yeah. It's always two. Yeah. In a bowl. And consumed in a very ladylike fashion. Yeah, but I mean, that would be like a sixth of a family-sized bag of crisps, mm. wouldn't it? Mm. So, yeah. yeah, it's a couple of hundred calories. Yeah, yeah. I I've never seen a miniature bag of crisps though. <laughs> oh, those ten-calorie bags. Yeah, in Fairyland. <laughs> um, I've been eating satiating meals, and I've been eating um, in between those meals. Like sometimes, <clears throat> I like to inc include some fruit. So sorry, I've been eating three meals, <laughs> one like kind of junky snack at night, just a small one, and I have some fruit. Like if I'm really, 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 you know, craving something sweet or I'm kind of hungry in between, I'll have like some fruit. The crate of mangoes is gone then. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already had the first statement debunked, three meals and a snack. So now we've gone to three meals, a snack, and several more snacks. <laughs> because a piece of fruit is a snack in my book. If I get a bit peckish between meals, I'll have a little clementine. or I'll Sometimes have a... you go wild and have two. Yeah, or I'll have a, a small apple or yeah. a very small banana. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Let, let's let's have the real truth now, <laughs> Meryl. And when does the chocolate fit in then? Because that's another snack again, isn't it? That little tiny row that you have that's measured lengthways. So, yeah, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to have for lunch today. Tuna um, with some mayo, yellow mustard, a whole bunch of fresh dill. I love it. Black pepper. Okay, so we have some tuna. Um, I have some of this stuff here left over. So it's like a it's like a mixture of cucumber, parsley, tomato, red onion, and this like feta cheese mixture. Why does she have to mush everything up? <laughs> I've just seen a bowl of tuna that I didn't show, but she put hot sauce in it, mixed it all up so it's come out like a bowl of mush to go along with this bowl of mush. And what did you say that bowl looked like, Karen? The bowl of mush here. Vomit. And I bet your bottom dollar, if that's been sat around for any length of time, that's exactly what it'll taste like. Yeah, and imagine the amount of feta cheese that's gone into it. Oh, that. good Lord. And I do believe she puts fried bread in it as well. <laughs> I have some pita chips. And I've been eating this. This is like one of my favourite things. It's so good. Fried pita <laughs> chips. <laughs> well, I've seen her make the pita chips. <laughs> pita. <laughs> Uh, I've said, yeah, she flings oil on those as well. But she's got all the food groups. She's got the cheese. She's got the fried bread that's soggy in the vomit juice. And she's got the freshly fried pita. Oh, is the bread in that stuff as well? That salad does have bread in it, yeah. But it's it'll all be mushed up now. Uh, that's what I mean. Oh, double uh, I know. So for breakfast, I've had... Um, Usually what I've been having is just like I had today a slice of multigrain toast and I put a little bit of butter on it and I put some scrambled egg with cheese on it and I made some homemade <clears throat> potatoes. So for breakfast, 
She's had cheese on toast, egg and chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that boils down to. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I always thought potatoes grew in the ground. <laughs> You can't actually home-make potatoes. <laughs> you have to grow them, Meryl. No, home-made potatoes for Meryl is reach into the freezer, grab a handful of chips, slap a bit more oil on them, stick them in the air fryer. She does chips for breakfast. Well, I mean, some people do eat chips for breakfast. I mean, it's unusual for us, but they do. Do they? Yeah, there was that, that cafe we used to take unks to. They did chips on their breakfast. Did they? I can't yeah. remember. Oh, that. he bloody loved it. Yeah. Yeah, but it was like. It was more like a brunch, darling, wasn't it? No, it was a breakfast. Oh. But it was like a Greek place, so. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. Is but. it? Is it the um, breakfast of choice when you're on a healthy eating arc? No. no. I mean, fries, chips are not great any time no. I mean you, there is a certain way you can make them like if you did them in the air fryer with just a spray of oil and some yes. seasoning yeah. that would be I mean potatoes are a great source of vitamin C yeah. so you know you shouldn't exclude them but mm. you don't need to deep fry everything also she's got a piece of toast with a bit of butter on yeah <laughs> I've seen her bit of butter. It's like a whole pack of butter, isn't it? And one mouthful. I'll put a bit of butter in this pan and it's like um, half a pack. <laughs> um, that's all I had. And then I had a bit of mango. Now I'm having this. That's 20 minutes of a day gone then. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese on toast, egg and chips, a couple of mangoes and then a pile of... Vomit. <laughs> I'm getting a bit rifty, Karen. Yeah. Have you had enough? <laughs> Great healthy eating, that Meryl. Cracking. Yeah, I've had enough of it. Uh, she's enough. Looking at this this bowl of utter shite. And now me describing what it probably tastes like. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Right, anyway, well, good luck with all your future <laughs> endeavours, Meryl. <laughs> because I think you're going to need it. How long before the first proper... I think we're going to have a rage mukbang. Oh, oh. Yeah. when, when? Yeah, soon, when? very soon. Right. I predict before this weekend is out. Do you reckon? Yeah. Oh, I look forward to it. Yeah. And we'll bring you news hot off the press when it happens, won't we, Karen? Absolutely, darling, yes. Because we're really on this. Yeah. On it like a bonnet. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, that's it from us, so yeah. we'll bid you adieu. And thank you for joining us. And we shall see you very soon, tomorrow, in fact. So, oh, yeah, tomorrow. Yes, we've had a little dinner invite, haven't yes. we? Which we're going to make a video about. Yes. So do look out for that. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you then. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.